Alhamdulillah. Can you comment on Say Naqib al Atas's categorization of human as not an animal? Yeah, so uh, Say Naqib, who is, I consider him a great teacher and sage and uh, beautiful, one of the most beautiful human beings I've ever met. Um, so he, he, he believes that the, the classification of genus and species with the human, because this is a logical classification. So in logic, you have what are the, called the five predicables, al 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 khamsa. So you have like uh, jins, you have nu', you have fasl, you have uh, amma, uh, khasa, and then you have arad. So you have arad khasa, khas and arad am, or khasa and, and uh, arad. So, so the, the jins is the genus, the, the, the nu' is called species, the fasl is the difference, and then you have the property and you have the, um, the accident. So, so just to give you an example, if we, if we say like a, a triangle, a triangle, the, ge, the, the genus would be, what's the genus of a triangle? It's a polygon, right? Yeah, so the genus is polygon. So it, it, you know, it has angles, multiple angles. And, and, and then, and then the, the, what makes it different from other polygons? Three sides, so that's the fossil. That's the difference. So the species is called triangle. So the genus is polygon, the difference is three angles. And then a property would be that the angles will always, in Euclidean geometry, they'll, they'll always equal 180 degrees. That's not essential to it. In other words, it doesn't define it, but it's a specific property. And then you have the accident. It could be a isosceles triangle, a scaling triangle, right triangle, different types of triangles. It could be a big triangle, red triangle, blue triangle. Those are just accidents. So like color, the skin color is an accident. It's not a property because people, uh, black people can turn white and white people can turn black. It's an accident. It's not a property. And that's why it's the least important thing in, uh, you know, the accidents are the least important things in these, in these five um, things that, that, uh, that, Define, you have, you have uh, comprehension and extension. So those, those are what ex the thing extends to, are those five things. The comprehension goes under the maqulat or the categories. So, so um, he's, he sees the human being as sui generis. It doesn't have a genus. That's his opinion, and, and it's, it's an understandable opinion, but Traditionally, the Muslims did accept that definition that came out of logic, haywan natiq, rational animal. We definitely have animality. I mean, we share physiology with animals. We have to sleep, we defecate, we urinate, we, 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 we uh, procreate, we do all these things that animals do, but because we are a different creation, ثُمَّ شَأْنَهُ خَلْقًا آخر, uh, We do things, like for instance, we, Allah made us wear clothes. Anim the only other animals like that, I mean, you have some newts that don't have any fur or thing, but generally most animals have feathers or fur. Those, that's their clothes. They're, they're not naked. The pig uh, is, is the closest, you know. I mean, that's what Churchill said, like, dogs look up to us, cat cats look down on us, but pigs look at us like equals, you know. The, the pig is very similar to a human being in physiology. That's why we can use so many things from a pig. Porcine products in medicine are very common. Um, like they use pig valves and things like that, yeah. So, so, so the pig also has like a skin, right? So what does it do? It, it rolls in mud to cover itself. It's a, that's why they call it cochino in Spanish, you know, cochinos. They're, they're dirty things, pigs. But Allah has given us, he's ornamented us with, with clothes it's, he, to honor us. So we're, we're bashar, which means we have bashara, like we have skin. We don't have feathers or fur, but he gave us clothes to ornament us, to, to, to adorn us, right? And, and then, and then he, we eat cooked food generally. So we cook our food. Uh, so we do things that animals don't do, right? Animals, like, they go down to the trough. He's given us the ability to eat in a dignified way. Then we ornament our food. We do all these things to, to, to remove that animality from us, right? And that's why they're very important. So this idea, the modern idea is we're just animals, you know? So the Gnostic idea is, you know, this 
the human beings, this rarefied thing, but we, there, it's, we're, we're, we're between the two. We're, we're this creation between animals and between angels. We can go down to the animal level or we can go up to the angel level. So in that way, he's right, you know, that we are not animals per se. Like we, we're not, we're something else. But we do, we do share with the animals that. And that's why to say that we're animals is not correct. And, and, I, and I would agree with him on that. I mean, I, was, I heard once, I was, you know, like, said this before, but in a moment of weakness, listening to KPFA, and uh, there was this guy on the, on the radio who said, uh, he said, uh, you know, well, the problem is humans just haven't come to the terms with the fact we're just a bunch of animals. And, and I was thinking, I just wanted to say to the guy, really, like, as you're driving down in your BMW on a cell phone talking to a radio station that's, like, miles away from you, like, their donkeys are doing that right now, you know, newts are doing that, you know, pigs are sitting around discussing metaphysical problems, you know, I mean, it's, it's just not right to say that human beings are, but that's what they want to do, they want to reduce us to our animality, and then humiliate us with it, because uh, when people behave like animals, they humiliate themselves, you see on Black Friday, when they all burst into these places, and they go mad, they're like, they, they, you can say they're like animals, but it's not fair to animals. Like, it really isn't fair to animals. Because Allah says, we're us falasafideen when we go there. We're the lowest of the low. Allah says, inhum kal an'am balhum adallu. That's called harf istidrak. It's like to make a correction. You know, I mean, Allah doesn't make mistakes, but it's a rhetorical device in the Quran. So, so it's, no, they're even more straight. Why? Because animals don't behave like that. Animals don't, like a human will go out and kill a bunch of animals for sport, just to kill them, hunt them, put trophies on their walls and things. A lion, if you watch like these uh, documentaries where they show the lion and all the zebras, they're all eating lunch, you know, they're just like in Africa, they're just eating lunch. Uh, I was in West Africa, we were driving and we saw all these wild animals, I can't remember what they were, we saw these wild animals, and I was with one of the Americans. Who said, he said, well, this is just like the Nature Channel. I said, no, no, the Nature Channel is like this. You know, <laughs> this is real. <laughs> you know, but, but anyway, so, so he, uh, you know, um, the, the, when the lion comes, they all start running. But right when he gets one, they go back to eating. He's like, uh, Zach's lunch today, you know, it's, it's over. You know, they can go back and do what they're doing. But humans know. And that's why the Arab, he said, The Bedouin, he's walking in the desert. He said, I heard the howl of a wolf. And, and, and I found comfort in the howl of the wolf. But then I heard a human voice and I nearly flew out of my skin. Because the thing about a wolf, you know the nature of a wolf. He's not going to surprise you. The wolf's not going to behave like, you know, a cat or a... It's going to behave like a wolf. You know what you're dealing with. But humans, it could be a demon. It could be an angel. You just don't know. And very often it is a demon. Too often. <laughs>